Now there's um, an unsettling report that's circling, circulating around right now about a pregnant woman who's been stoned to death outside the High Court in Lahore, Pakistan. Um, this case is by no means unique, uh, but I want to comment on it because this one has attracted quite a lot of attention. And there can be few more barbaric examples of human rights violations than this. Um, you know, I could sort of uh, say the usual things in this video, it's barbaric, etc, etc, and of course it is, um, and I think the the creatures who done it, I, I don't think they deserve to be called men. Um, it just it defies, I actually find it hard to register that. I mean, obviously I believe it happened, but I just find it hard to register that someone could be so, could do something that evil to stone a young woman to death, a defenseless young woman who's pregnant. Uh, basically the the report goes that she, and I'll put a link to the ITM video, this young woman was uh, stoned to death by her own family, which makes it all the more sinister, um, for marrying a man that she loved against her wishes. Um, it's another gruesome example of so-called honour, justice, honour killings. Um, I really do think, when I see stuff like this, I really do believe that here in Britain, we need to take a zero tolerance approach to anybody, anybody who even tries to condone it. I believe that people who come to this country, from countries whereby stoning does take place, one of the questions they should be asked at immigration is, do you support this or not? If they say no, I think it's barbaric, fine, let them in if they're contributing to society. But if they in any way endorse this or make excuses for it, I don't think they should be allowed on these shores. But this isn't just about immigration in Britain, this is about the principle here. It's about a savage, barbaric mentality that not only does it dehumanise women, but it brutalises society as a whole. Now, there is a few important points to make. This is not official law in Pakistan, so what they have done is illegal under Pakistani law. Um, the father has been arrested, the others, uh, being the worthless cards that they are, have run away. Um, but I, I just hope Pakistan really um, puts the father and anyone else who was directly responsible for this behind bars for the rest of their miserable days. Um, in other words, set a harsh example because so long as this sort of thing is, um, you know, if there's a lenient approach to this, then it will continue. There's, there's no deterrent effect. Now, of course, the Islam question has come into this because it's an Islamic country and um, a lot of Muslims are saying this has nothing to do with Islam, etc. Um, I agree that uh, cases of stonings are probably a lot more cultural, in inverted commas, than religious. Um, there's millions of Muslims around the world who will be looking at it in disgust and thinking this has nothing to do with Islam. The problem is... Um, when they use Islam as a front for it, then it comes under it's it may not be it may not be Islam, but it does come under Islam, so I think it's it's just disingenuous to say, Oh, it's got nothing to do with Islam because when this happens it's almost always in Islamic countries. Not universally. There has been cases of stoning in Mexico, for example, which is not an Islamic country. Um, but the vast majority of stoning cases are in regions or countries where Islam is the majority region. You can't escape from that fact. Now, I know you can find examples in the Old Testament and so on, but the point is that is the Old Testament. In the modern world, in the year 2014, the majority of these cases do take place in 
Islamic majority states. Now, to Muslims watching this, I'm, I'm not saying Islam is responsible. I'm just saying that it's disingenuous, therefore, to say that there's no connection with Islam. Because denial is not going to solve the problem. You may well agree with me and agree with all other civilised human beings that what happened in that video uh, to that young woman is utterly, utterly inhumane. But saying it's got nothing to do with Islam isn't entirely honest because... It may not be your version of Islam, it may not be how you see Islam, but clearly there are people in this world who genuinely believe that they are acting in the name of Islam. Um, like I say, it's not solely religion. Culture is a bigger factor, but you can't pretend that religion's not got something to do with it. Um, and actually, I think what... Um, I think it actually makes it worse just say, oh, this has got nothing to do with Islam. I think open-minded Muslims who see this need to recognize that it is within their religion. You cannot, you know, you don't get stonings happening in Germany or the United Kingdom or Canada or Japan or other countries where Islam is not a majority religion. That's a simple fact. It's a simple reality. Um, like I say, there are cases in Mexico, but the vast majority of cases of stonings are in regions where Islam is practiced. That's just a fact. Um, I think, so it's all very well since it's nothing to do with Islam, but clearly these people are either uneducated, which I think they are, not that it's any excuse, but in that case, it's a responsibility of the Pakistani government to educate them and say this to tell them it's got nothing to do with Islam if they're using the name of Islam um, there's never ever 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 any excuse for this sort of savagery um, religion or culture is is trivial by comparison to that sort of evil and there's not much more I could say that's already like obvious um, I will warn you it's an unsettling video um, it's not actually, it doesn't show it happening, but it does show the woman's body. And this happened outside the High Court in Lahore. That's what makes it all the more sinister. This wasn't like in a remote cave. This was in a, a major, major city. Barbaric. And I, yeah, I don't know when it's ever going to end, because the only way to end this evil is for the Pakistani government to absolutely crush it. But the Pakistani government is too busy cracking down on blasphemy cases. It's hard to comprehend, really.